Cancer, welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a mini reading for you today. It is a snapshot on what you can hope to expect for the remainder of 2023. As with all my readings, please only take what resonates, okay? I cannot guarantee that this will resonate for every Cancer, but we are going to get right into it. If you've been drawn here to this video, then there is more than likely at least one thing here that you need to hear. Okay, I'm not reading reversals today, if you wonder why I, I turn that right side up. We have the Ace of Swords here in your career sector. Uh, Cancer, you're going to be coming across some kind of information or clarity around what it is that you do for work, if it fulfills you, uh, what you may want to pursue if it doesn't, possibly some kind of communication happening at work that really enlightens something about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and the ways in which you can maximize how much money you make with what you do, okay? For some of you, it might be taking on like an additional side project or it might be pursuing something that in addition to what you do at work, but for a lot of you, I get this as being related to your day job in some way. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're a hard worker. You've been really investing in your career and financial life and the you have a blessing coming. The results are about to pay off for you in the last six weeks of the year. Heavy communication energy, heavy air energy here with the Page of Swords. So yeah, communication is going to be key. I see someone possibly writing in a journal or typing something out. Uh, maybe you're going to have written works being published in the, in the last six weeks of the year, I'm getting that for someone. For someone else though, your communication at work is going to be especially important during this time period. What else can you tell me about Cancer's job and career sector? I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure, precipice of change, pause before action. Yeah, so you might find something out that encourages you to take action in some way at work. Just make sure you have all of the facts first before pursuing whatever this is. I'm just getting that information and communication is going to be very important. I usually only take two cards, but two of them came out. Believe in strange encounters and law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. So you might be feeling like something's a little imbalanced at work right now. Um, you need to believe in your personal power and the talents that you bring to the workplace. Um, I feel like maybe you're someone who sells yourself short. You're a hard worker, but you feel like maybe you don't feel valued or you you don't always, you're not somebody who like feels like you're better than everyone else, which is a good thing. But sometimes you take that a little bit too far is what I'm picking up here. So someone who sells yourself short and doesn't understand that maybe maybe you can for example if you do a certain amount of work and your salary has stayed the same or consistent for a certain amount of time now might be a good time to communicate and ask for a raise and really have this belief in yourself that you're worth negotiating and worth um not demanding more money but requesting more money if you feel that it is truly fair with the amount of work and effort that you put in that's just one example but that might be how it manifests in your current situation as well what else can you tell me about cancer's work life here well, the way i interpreted this just now is the same way i'd interpret the death card from this from the traditional tarot deck for some of you, it's either going to be the ending of one phase of your career life and you're going to be moving into something else like a promotion or something like that. For some of you, you may be coming to the realization that you don't want to do your current job anymore. And this might be like an Ace of Swords moment. Um, and you might start making plans to pursue something else. Okay. What else can you tell me? Fairy of the Green World, the natural world needs you. So if you do make a change, you might be choosing to do something that pertains to nature or you might be doing, I just heard healer. So you might choose to pursue some kind of healing profession. I'm seeing someone doing Reiki. I'm seeing someone else doing like a massage therapy, something with your hands. So this might not be an immediate change that happens in the next six weeks, but for some of you, you might make this decision in the next six weeks and then start making plans to pursue a different career path, all right? For those of you who are happy at your job, communication is going to be key this this uh, during this time of, of the year. Like I said, it might just be something like where you you have a revelation that 
possibly your job or your bosses might take you for granted and you're you're actually worth more than what they're paying you and you might take this time period to like renegotiate a contract or a salary and for those of you that applies to i see you being very happy with your decision feeling very empowered Having the support of other people, whether this be your spirit guides or possibly coworkers, other support systems in your life. And with the green world coming here, I see this as being representative of financial abundance. So something that brings you a lot of joy in your heart chakra, but also may lead to a lot of actual physical abundance in the material world. So not a bad reading there, Cancer. What can you tell me about Cancer's health and relationship sector? Again, I'm not reading reversals today in these readings. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords. So something coming to an end. This might be a cycle that you've been going through in either your health, your personal health, or your personal family relationships. Let's get some more information. The Four of Wands. Uh, this relates to a family dynamic. This could be one cycle ending and another phase beginning with you and your family or a specific family member. Five of Pentacles. For some of you, I see some kind of relationship that had been severed in the past with a family member, but that's going to be coming to an end. I see a reunion taking place with you and one or more family members. So this is actually going to be a positive change. Normally the Ten of Swords indicates like a painful ending. You may have previously had a painful ending with someone in your family or social circle and you may have been feeling like locked out of their life. I see that coming to an end during this time period. So it's actually a positive message coming out here. What else can you tell me about Cancer's family? All in the golden afternoon. Um, yeah, this is just... This just speaks to divine timing to me usually. So allowing this situation to unfold. If you are coming back into communication with someone or you, you know, you're at a family function and you have an opportunity to talk to someone that you haven't had contact with for a long time, I wouldn't push the situation too far. I would just kind of let it unfold naturally. And I see a positive flow coming back into balance between you and whoever the, these people were or this person is choices. Yeah, I feel like in the past you were blocked from something. Maybe someone in your family, maybe you weren't on speaking terms with someone and that's going to be coming to an end very shortly in the last six weeks of the year, possibly at like a holiday type function. Guidance, but where will it lead you? I'd say tap into your empathetic response. So if it's someone that you maybe had a verbal argument with, now would be a good time to take on an empathetic perspective towards this person or these people and try to see where they're coming from. Again, I wouldn't be too uh, forceful with the communication. Lend an empathetic ear and I see positive things happening for you here. Mend a broken heart fairy, fairy healing from heartache. Yeah, this is like a healing from a three of swords with someone in your family or your social circle. So it could pertain to a friend as well, but... Yeah, some of you are healing uh, relationships during this time. And some of you might also be going through a period of physical healing as well. Maybe you went through a short illness or you, you're recovering from something. That's a side message for someone else. This next column is going to be your relationship and love sector. What can cancer expect in the relationships and love sector for the remainder of the year? Okay, so coming out of some period of heartbreak. All right, normally I would read this as a regular Three of Swords, but I, I was just drawn to the double message here of mending a broken heart. So someone is recovering from a period of heartbreak right now. That might be you. That might be someone that you're coming in contact with. I do get that it's your energy though here. You're on the mend though, Cancer. What else can Cancer expect? Knight of, I'm sorry, Ace of Swords again. So clarity, some kind of clarity or communication from someone. I see you having clarity around your recent romantic experiences and coming to some kind of revelation, but I also see you getting communication from someone. For some of you, this is going to be someone new coming towards you, so that is a very positive message here. So it's a king of cups for some of you, um, possibly another Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces, but if not, it's someone who has big romantic feelings for you, Cancer. All right, they've decided you've I'm really uh, noticing his telescope today. You have caught this person's eye. They have noticed you in some way, whether that be at work, online, through a mutual friend or acquaintance. You are kind of on this person's radar and they have 
I'm getting like puppy love type feelings for you. Uh, but this person is a mature person who is emotionally capable of giving you an equal give and take in a relationship as well. So it's not like an immature energy that I'm picking up on. It's just a heavy infatuation energy that I'm picking up on today. What else can you tell me about Cancer's love life? Such a curious dream. Wow, a lot of dreamy kind of energy here coming out. So yeah, I feel like this person daydreams about you or fantasizes about you. This might be somebody that you fantasized about being with in the past. Like maybe even someone from your past that you had a near miss with. Clock time. Divine timing is at play. I've gotten some form of that message, I think, for every, <laughs> for every sign that I've read today. So divine timing is just at play for a lot of us right now. And don't push anything forward before it is ready to move. Okay, don't don't fight fight the tendency to try to over control. But what else can you tell me here about Cancer's love life? An important end and a new beginning. So whatever you're recovering from, it's about to be replaced by something beautiful and positive, new, refreshing. So that is amazing energy for your love life as we move towards the end of 2023, Cancer. I do apologize for our our cockatoo. She's very loud. We have the three fates. What comes around? So yeah, this is your karmic destiny here. For you, and it's happening in divine timing. So you're fated to come together with whoever this King of Cups energy is. Again, if you're a divine masculine listening, uh, the King of Cups can, uh, just because it depicts a masculine energy on the card, it, it does not mean that it cannot be a, a divine feminine energy. The energies may be cross-switched. It's, it's all going to depend on your specific situation. And finally, what can you tell me about Cancer's spiritual life? towards the end of this year we have the two of cups so yeah energetically in the 5d cancer this actually relates to your love sector because you are aligning with this soulmate energetically right now in the spiritual realm so it's actually an extension of your love message right now what else can you tell me about cancer's spiritual life um, it might not be a bad time to go into kind of like hermit mode for a little bit that does not mean you have to isolate completely but you may want to make ample time to reflect on what you're feeling and the energies that that come up and the emotions that come up during this time period we have the knight of cups i told you very very infatuated kind of puppy love type energy here so whoever this is that's how they're going to come in in this last six weeks of the year cancer very exciting for you falling the unknown descent momentum change um i just think that this this speaks to like letting go of the reins and really relaxing into the natural unfolding of, of events here because you and this person are aligning on the 5D um, and in the 3D, you just kind of have to let it play out however it's going to. However, for a lot of you, I do see like physical communication happening in this last little chunk of 2023 between you and this Two of Cups. Getting to know the new you. So some of you during this time of hermiting, uh, you're going to be coming to a higher level of spiritual development. You're going to be really guided by your higher self, by your ancestors, by your spirit guides during this time. And you're going to be coming to a new appreciation of yourself, like leveling up even further. You're in Empress energy, but I feel I feel you really coming into this strong really extremely high energetic frequency during this time what else a wonderful idea the aha moment you're going to be having some revelations about your own spiritual journey during this time it's going to be kind of a magical feeling for you cancer here you're going to see a lot of synchronicities happening uh you're going to be very empowered through this spiritual growth process that's going to be taking place but also you're going to feel the magic of this two of cups king of cups knight of cups energy trying to peek in okay and you know if and when it happens in the physical world for you over this next time period it's going to seem nothing short of serendipitous and magical for you your own spiritual journey is going to feel magical during this time but particularly because it has you aligning with this two of cups strange valentine love is strange so yeah like i told another sign today i think this person might come into your life in a very unexpected way and they might be kind of quirky is what i just heard like someone who's a little bit unique eccentric but you're gonna really appreciate that about this person and i feel like it's gonna be a magical time period for your love life cancer all right 
I hope something today was helpful and resonated for you. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help the channel grow. Other than that, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.